All right, back to the questions here. Domo says, is our line good enough? I think it's good enough. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. And Trent Williams has been ranked well by a lot of writers so far this year. He struggled greatly in the first, excuse me, couple of games for the 49ers. He settled in a little bit. But I think that overall, the O-line has been good, but not great. I, I, I was really hoping this offensive line was going to be a top five offensive line in the National Football League. I mean, you look at some of the names, and you really should uh, – you really should expect them to be pretty good, and yet they get up the sacks and they've not been able to run the football. And but at the same time, you know, you had quarterbacks in and out, and running backs in and out, and so I don't know if we can blame them fully, but I think it's good enough. And that's the question, so I'll go ahead and give you that answer. Jarrett Wong says the Niners drafting a D lineman in the first round just because you could. I mean, this was the old Andy Reid style, right? Andy Reid in Philadelphia would draft a D lineman every single year in one of the first three rounds just because he knew pass rushers were at a premium and very, very helpful. Um. Will the Niners do it? No, I think they're counting on Bosa to come back healthy. And, yeah, they just signed Tack McKinley. I mean, they 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 tried to build a great defensive line. They drafted Javon Kinlaw last year. He's been very, very good this year. So, no, I don't see them just drafting a D lineman in the first round because unless they have no other choice, like there are no good cornerbacks or they don't want a quarterback or, you know, whatever it is. But I, I would be very surprised. The need of defensive lineman to me is, is not one of their big ones. They just need to be healthy, which they haven't done all year. Alex T says, when is Jimmy G coming back? It's a four to six week injury. And so I think the numbers would say week 15 at the earliest, week 16 or 17 is more likely. Again, the high ankle sprains are a pain in the butt, dude. I mean, I, I, if you've never had one, they're awful, they're lingering, and they can be re-injured very, very easily. So with that being said, I don't see any sort of scenario where he comes back anytime sooner than week 15 or week 16. But even then, it's still an if. Now, Shanahan said earlier, he expects him to be back, but... You know, you got to let the doctors make that decision, not the head coach. Doina, uh, Doina, did you say your name? I probably butchered that. Do you think we can make it to the playoffs, getting all of our key players back next week? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's a tough race, and there are a lot of good teams, and we've seen the wild or the, the playoff pictures you see right now. You really need either Seattle, the Cardinals, or the Rams to start really slipping up, or you know, potentially the Saints with no Drew Brees. There are a lot of teams that can still slip up the Niners to go ahead and make a run here, but they're going to have their best shot. And obviously they're healthy. And so getting the mosters of the world back and the Tevin Coleman, the Debo Samuels, the Richard Sherman's, um, it's all going to be very, very helpful, but they got to start winning some football games. And it starts in two weeks, taking on the LA Rams. Um, let's see. Next question coming in here. Again, the donor one we had just got, and I totally think that they can, but will they is another question. Jesse says, do you think Aaron Rodgers is a trade possibility since they drafted love? No, I don't. I mean, and, and Rodgers is having a very good year, and the Packers have been good this year. No, I, I'd be shocked. You just don't trade away a guy like Aaron Rodgers at all. I mean, they never traded Brady. I mean, they never traded Manning. Those guys walked in free agency. I, I see Rodgers being there for a very, very long time. And I think a lot of people would agree with me on that, not just here, but also in Green Bay at the same time. This is an interesting question. Who's been the MVP for the 49ers so far this season? Can you name one? I, Fred Fred Warner comes to mind. I mean, they've had a lot of guys in and out. Who's been the MVP so far? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Also, follow me on Twitter. You see my Twitter handle right below there, at Real Thomas Mott. You know what you guys think about that uh, in terms of who the MVP has been so far this year. MTX Mystical says, next season we trade for Allen Robinson. I think you could. Uh, I think he's a free agent at the end of this year. I think you just sign Allen Robinson. You don't have to trade for him. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure... Al Robinson is a free agent, and you can do you and I have to trade for him. So yeah, go ahead, take a look at him. I mean, he, he's a good deep threat, good size. Uh, the Bears' offense been abysmal, but I don't think it's Al Robinson's fault. So sure, why not? I think that's a good question. I think that's a, a possibility we'll look at getting into uh, the spring of 2021. Um, do you think the Niners regret signing Trent Williams? I don't think they regret it. And again, he was so cheap, and the trade was so cheap. It was kind of like a a low risk, high reward sort of thing. And so that's kind of what we've had so far with a lot of the Niner moves. But no, I don't think I don't think that, that they re regret it by any means. But he needs to play a little better. He hadn't been as good as he once was, but he's got a little older and didn't play last year. And so maybe that all kind of caught up to him. Tala says, what is the defense looking like next year? We need a lot in drafting for eight. No, they, I mean, listen, you, you get Bosa back. That's huge. You get Armstead playing alongside him and being a lot better. Um, yeah. Corner would be nice. I'd, I'd be very excited to see them play or to go ahead and just upgrade the cornerback, maybe a safety. I think the backside of the defense is a lot more of a necessity. Linebacker is fine. I mean, pass rusher is fine when healthy. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now in terms of the defense going forward. I don't think that, that they need a lot, which is good. Britt says, will the Niners drop an O-line in the first, first round? They might. Wouldn't that be boring, though? I mean, first round, we really want you to get someone sexy, but 
if there's a good one, you know, the Niners could pick between 10 and you know, 32 right now. Who knows where they're going to be based on their finishing final overall season. But, yeah, I think uh, I, I, I don't see it, but I wouldn't be surprised. It's just so early getting draft talk right now. When draft is in April. We're sitting here. In, I mean, I guess not. November, April. You know, you do the math. It's coming up here. Uh, that's a good question, though. I mean, maybe you do, but normally the good old linemen are, are completely gone by the time you get to 15 and 16. So, potentially not. How about this question? Who's the best team in the NFC? We asked the NFC West question last week. Who's the best one in the NFC? Is it Seattle? Is it Green Bay, Arizona, New Orleans? I mean, none of the above. Is it Tampa Bay? I think Tampa Bay might be the best team in the NFC. But out of the group you see right here, let me know what you guys think down below. I think, I think Seattle's defense has been bad, man. I've been so high on Seattle. They've been bad. Arizona got lucky last week. They should not have won that game. The Saints lost Drew Brees. The Packers barely, barely, barely beat the Jags. who took like one win. So that means they're garbage. So, um... Everyone has a flaw How about that. I mean, everyone right now in the NFC has, has a flaw. So pick one, though. I'm curious. Britt, again, another question. Could they beat the Rams? I believe they will falter after playing the Buccaneers Monday Night Football. I think that they can. I don't know. I mean, the, the Rams have been good this year. I mean, they've been pretty good. They've beaten some pretty good teams. It's a, it's a toss-up right now in the NFC West. I mean, Seattle, the Cardinals, the Rams, they're all very, very uh, equal right now in terms of their, their overall play style and their overall abilities. So... Yeah, I think that they can. Will they? Who knows? We'll talk more about that next week. I'm sure we'll get a good preview on our next week's Thursday show. Um, and uh, and and hopefully they win because they basically have to to go ahead and make a postseason run. Jaspreet says, which player should we target in the first? Jeez, Jaspreet, it's early, buddy. Man, I mean, listen, I, I know a couple of draft uh, players. You know, there's some good cornerbacks. The one from Alabama has a real possibility of being a first rounder. I have not done my draft prep yet. It's early, buddy. So we do a lot of draft stuff here, though, on this show. So be subscribed off season. I mean, we dive into it, but I just I'm so worried about this season right now that the draft is so far away. I, I couldn't name like 10 second round potential players right now. It's just too early. I'll, I'll be honest. Right? I gotta, I gotta do, do my research. I gotta wait. Let's do what's the topic Shea Mill Kuiper thing. They haven't announced anything yet, so I, I don't really know. But I do know that even though the Niners are off this week, you can still bet on them, and well, not bet on them, but bet on the NFL. With our friends at BetUS, PetSports.com forward slash 49 bet and link to go. And then the promo code, of course, Niners125. You put the $100 down and get that 125% deposit bonus whenever you guys first sign up. So you got to put $100 down to get the bonus, but 125% of $100 bucks turns into like $225 to bet. And my bets of the week to me are, are, are basically lost. I feel really good about these. Philadelphia is going to cover against the Browns. Plus three on the road. Cleveland to me is... Grossly overrated. Baker Mayfield is due for a bad game. They barely beat the Texans last week. Philadelphia is mad. They're healthier. They win. I'll give me that one. I think the Falcons, maybe mean money line, straight up. I think the Falcons are going to beat the Saints. The fact the Saints are like three-point favorites is laughable because the Saints are not going to be that great with Jameis Winston. I don't know why people think that Winston's going to be the savior. So I'll take the Falcons. And then Packers are plus one and a half at the Colts? Why? Why? Vegas, hello? You think the Colts are going to beat the Packers? Come on. There's just no way. Green Bay's uh, upset at their uh, embarrassing win last week against the uh, the Jaguars. So give me the Packers plus five and a half, or plus one and a half there uh, to cover against the Colts and probably win that game as well. Again, I'll bet on them with our friends, chessports.com, forward slash 49 bet. Promo code is Niners125. I'm telling you guys, there's money to be made. You want you mean a little bit of a little bit extra pocket change to bet on and, you know, go ahead and win some money for the holidays? That's the place to go. Bet US. Trust me, they've been great with us so far this year. Aaron Mack says, what about talking to Andrew Luck out of retirement? Goodness gracious. No, Andrew Luck is very happily retired. Have you even seen a picture of Andrew Luck since he retired? No, there's a reason. He's very much enjoying, you know, his wife, his new kid, and just being chill and relaxing. And so, uh, no, it's with absolutely 0% chance that happens. Should we sign KB? Is that Kendrick Bourne? What are we talking about? KB here. I'm assuming Kendrick Bourne. Yeah, it's got to be. Resign him? Yeah. I would rather get somebody else. He's not that good. But, you know, you need third receivers, fourth receivers. So if he's cheap enough, sure. If he wants money, he's crazy, and I wouldn't do it. But if he's cheap enough, then sure, why not? Angel Mendoza says, out of the 25-plus players, soon to be free agents in 2021, who would you want the Niners to re-sign? I need to look at the list again, but, of course, the list does involve names like Richard Sherman. I think Sherman's the first one you look at. I would not re-sign D4. I would look at re-signing Tack McKinley now. Trent Williams I would look at re-signing. But Sherman's one that he's got to come back and he's going to play next week and be really good and prove that he's worth re-signing because he's old and he wants a lot of money. And that's tough for me to do in my current situation covering the Niners. Fairfield says, 49ers do not bring back K1 Williams next year. 
They think they will work in Parnell Motley to be the long-term nickel cornerback. He's the same skill set as K1, but cheaper too. There's Parnell, of course. The Oklahoma Sooner. Shout out to producer, uh, as of course Sam is, is, is a Sooner. I called multiple Baylor versus Oklahoma Sooner games, and Parnell Motley had a pick on, I think, the most previous one that I called. So I'm very familiar with Parnell Motley. Good player. I mean, sure, right? Mix him in there. We'll see what happens. He might get even some, some uh, playing time in terms of uh, whatever happens with Williams going forward. So, uh, you know, and Sam's wearing his Sooner gear right now. Except why I can see him in his picture here. He's very much uh, uh, up for the terrible Big 12, as we're both Big 12ers, and they've been terrible this year, and so neither team's that great. Chrono says, what do you think we have to win? Uh, what game do you think we have to win in order to get our season rolling? The next one, the Rams. If they lose to the Rams, it's over. I mean, you're sitting there at four and six. And that's heck Okay, let me rephrase that. If they lose to the Rams and then lose one more, it's over. You can't, eight and eight's probably not going to do it. I mentioned earlier, potentially, but they have got to beat the Rams. They've got to beat the Bills. That way you could lose one of your last two. I mean, if they, if they win out and then either lose either of the Cardinals or the Seahawks, they're probably going to be a wild card team. But if you lose to the Rams, then lose to the Cardinals or Seahawks, two losses, you're done. They got to go five and six. They have to go five and six to make the postseason. And so it starts two weeks from uh, Sunday, whenever they play the LA Rams. And I think that... Uh, I think that they will. I mean, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. They're going to be healthy. Won the heck out of Raheem Mostert. That's all I got to say. I mean, pound the rock with Raheem Mostert. That's your best chance to go ahead and win these games. Let's see the next question coming up here. MTX Mystic. Sure, retire, becomes secondary coach. I mean, if he wants to, he's talked about coaching before. I mean, you know, he's a smart guy coming from Stanford, one of the smarter corners in the National Football League. I'd be fine with it. They have Wes Welker as a wide receiver coach, you know, so they've proven that former stars at their positions can coach. And I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that as well. 49er Faithful says, with Tack, you think we'll put Armstead back to DN? Mm, they'll move him around, and that's what they've done all year long. I know Armstead's played a lot more D-tackle, but I think that they will uh, I think they will move people around. Although Tack is a pure defensive end. He's too small to play defensive tackle. He's really, really small. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to get Tack healthy, though. He's got to pass his physical, too, which is very, very important overall. Okay, we are almost done here on the 49er Report, so make sure you guys smash the sub button because we go live every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Time, and click the notification bell as well. That way, it be your phone, because I'm subscribed to my own channel, and it notifies me whenever we go live. So hit the notification bell. That's the best way to go ahead and do it. They get your notifications and your sub at the same time. Thursday, 6 p.m., we do it every single week here on the 49ers Report.